our today's topics is how to use mongos with next.js 13 for mongodb so i have created a plan to share first of all we will create mongodb database in mongodb atlas create two model one for user and another is account create mongodb connection and finally create mongodb adapter for next auth so before wasting more time let's move into mongodb atlas and create a database So I'm going to use the free version. I'm not going to pay today <laughs> for this tutorial. But yes, I recommend if you want to more faster services, then you can use pay premium on, no problem. But for this tutorial, let's use the free version. So you can select AWS, Google Cloud. So I prefer AWS from my end. And the reason you can choose whenever you are. But since I'm from India, so I'm selecting Mumbai and keep it as it is cluster or I can provide a name. So the name should be your name or my name or anything else. Okay, name is nothing and create. That's going to be fun, I'm sure. Traffic. So they ask me to create a password okay so since i'm going to use authentication uh, not going to use the any certificate or aws so i will use the username and password so okay keep it is keep it is as it is and just i'm going to store it somewhere the user is use it future okay so username and password and my local environment good fine ip address at my ip address for now okay great local environment okay fine everything is perfect perfect so connect mongodb from all ip addresses with your credential okay so i'm going to put the ip address like this and this should be for public and entry create user perfect so then finish and close go to congratulation let's move it connect so to connect between mongodb and the next.js project since we are using node.js so we will select net node.js and we will copy this line of single center uh, string to future use okay i will store it there for future use okay fine let's go to database it will take some time you know oh boom it's ready now go to browse collections to create new database that's really awesome guys uh, load local sample no i don't need the sample data database or data sheet i will use add my own data and the name should be from my end but you can write any of your name since this is a next auth project So I will use this name and the collection name. I'm sure there should be a user collection user model. So I will use the user's collection name. That should be 
plural right so create so before that just keep the name as it is copy it and use there on this line okay already i have the name there so i will replace this with the password general password fine and this is our mongodb connection string so same time i will create a .env file instead of parent folder which is .env you can see from there new file and this should be .env and in this .env file what we will do we will do many things for this project also the mongodb uri so in this line of mongodb uri we will use this line to connect from next js to mongodb and the node environment should be development because we are now on the development mode but whenever we are, we have uploaded into the server like virtual and aws we will change replace with the production fine our next steps was create model user and account so to create models i will create a folder inside the src folder which is models and as i told you earlier we will create two model one is user and another is account so already i have created two models on my another project so i will use those models same time yeah so let me explain the user model here you can see in this user model this is a production category of model you know i have a many many field there like name email password uid roles easy admin uh, which is we will use uh, in the next videos for example uh, let me explain on the simple one thing like roles this roles for multiple type of user like if you want to um, set type of user like author like admin like client okay so if you want to provide divided uh, different type of role for different type of user and different different type of access so for this i use the role and active sublet keep it as it is we will use this in future and for the forget password we'll use this the forget password token the forget password token expiry verify token and verify token expiry this is the most important thing but if you want you can remove the occupation you can remove the bio the city state country if it's totally up to you but from from my end i keep as it is because you know mongodb is a document based database so there is no restriction or limit to make a data sheet long and the accounts here is the accounts model so this is should, should this is these things are most most are needed so that's okay fine so our model creation is completed let's create a mongodb connection so to create a mongodb connection let's create a folder there inside the src which is called the db connect or yeah this should be db connect and inside the folder create a file db dot ts okay this should be our mongodb connection we will so i will use three steps to mongodb connect connect between mongodb and the, our project first of all i have imported the mongoose from mongoose and i have uh, apply a validation if my dot env file does not have the mongodb uri then it will provide me a error and second time i'll provide the type definition like this and also i will create a mongoose caching connection this is important why i will let you i'll let you explain everything step by step let me and regarding the connection database connection which is this okay what i have done on there so guys you can ask me why i have used the connection with the cache connection so here is the explanation 
when your app for example this is the app and this is the database so when our app call to database to fish a data instantly our data reply with the database to the our app so there is a connection create when you uh, when you try to connect to mongodb there is there is a connection already cre created and same time if my app try to create try to call database for another face so for this piece i don't want to reconnect reuse the connect method to connect to mongodb i want to use the connect met method from cache so that's why i have used this cache feature in cache feature by this way you can reduce the database connection call and and make our site more faster and by this way api should load more more faster and more organized way so that's why i have created a cache connection if the connection is exist then the connect will be applied from the cache if not then the, this should be a fresh connection okay so our mongo's db's connection is completed let's create a mongo adapter so to connect from uh, to use mongo db adapter we'll need a extension I have copied it and I'm installing this adapter in the meantime time. I will copy this enter code. Okay, and create a folder there outside of the app folder, in, but inside the SRC there should be li library. But you can create any type of folder, no problem. Inside the library, I will create a file which is um, mongodb adapter.ts and the the number of code i will copy this from there uh, this from there and paste it there okay this is final our mongodb error setup is completed so our next uh, target was creating uh, a multiple forms for our registration page for our login page and the password receipt page